it started snowing and the power went out. So I figured the best thing to do would be to show you my new house. Here we are, 52 Brabant. Brave Ant. Still haven't figured that out. And it is a beautiful 1971 crazy suburban home. It's all about space. Maxing, relaxing, enjoying the living room. I've managed to set up a little couch situation down here, which allows me to enjoy the incredible view of whatever's going on outside. I mean, there's the neighbor's boat, uh, but there's also the snowfall. And when it's not snowing, man, you can see some mountains out there. It's fantastic. Place opens up into a dining room in the back. We managed to uh, jerry-rig a little plastic table into some sort of a dining table situation. It uh, works out pretty well for me. And then of course the kitchen. This has been such an amazing space for me this, year, this uh, season so far. Look at this. Look at this, this stove. This is like brand freaking new. Works amazingly, at least when the power works. Um, I'm gonna go soft. There's this beautiful dishwasher going on over here. A dishwasher. It's like all I have to do is press a button and the dishes get washed. I've never had that before. It's incredible. Uh, Well-stocked pantries. Everything's working out pretty well there. Um, thanks everybody for the bits of plates and cutlery and whatnot that you've given me. But uh, yeah, you know, we're, uh, we're good to go here for, for an extended time. It's gonna be just great. Fresh coffee every morning. We get the little Nescafe thing. It's got uh, like a little crema on the espresso. It's, it's good coffee, it's amazing. It's like going out for coffee every day, it's fantastic. Um, best thing about the kitchen, we got this really lovely window that overlooks the neighbors. And again, you're not gonna be able to see it because it's socked in tight over here, but there's an incredible view of the mountain over there. Anyway, we'll keep you going through the whole thing. Down this little hallway here, things are gonna get a little dark. We've got the bathroom. It's just a bathroom. We've got guest room number one, this could be yours, or guest room number two, you could be maxing and relaxing over here. This one's got a great view of the mountain too. Come on, come on sometime. We've got the master bedroom, this is never gonna be yours. Um, we pulled couches and cushions out of the trailer to make, uh, or sorry, my camper to make a bed. Um, and I've got a little, uh, you know, my, my little camping chair set up. So, you know, it's cozy, it's cool. Definitely feels like uh, a king size is in order, but it's it's a master bedroom nonetheless. It feels all right. Um, we're keeping things happy over here. Fantastic. So I love the layout of this place. The bedroom's on the one end, and then this beautiful open space for the living room, dining room set. It's just going to be fantastic when we get it all cooking up. And like, I mean, imagine back here having a bunch of people over for a house concert, right? Just, just filling the whole place up with joy and love and music. But the best part is yet to come, because of course there's the walkthrough to the beautiful deck outside. And yes, I'm gonna take you on that beautiful deck walk, even though it's snowing. I mean, check this out. This is a 600 square foot deck. It wraps all the way around. And this right here faces south. So we got beautiful sunshine down here. You know I'm gonna put like a greenhouse or something. It's gonna be great. But over here, we're gonna cover this with uh, clear plastic um, roofing so that we get this nice covered balcony so that even on a day like today, I could just be hanging out outside. How fantastic. The yard is magnificent. I've got cherry tree, plum tree, apple tree, all of them produce, very excited. It's huge. Enough space to park the camper back there. There's a nice little fire pit area. Um, I don't know, maybe we put a sauna or something fun down there. It's gonna be great. Other fun thing, you see that house right there? Those are my neighbors. Those neighbors love to jam. We got Tassus Joni Mitchell and Tassus Jack White living together in this beautiful place. And I can get to their house through this cute little pass through in the garden bushes right down here. Super fun. We have had a great time so far. Wish me luck, I'm gonna try not to fall down these silly stairs as I go down <laughs> to the backyard. So I won't take you for a full walk, but again, you can see it's a big yard. It goes way back there. But then we've got the covered bit underneath the patio. 
This is super handy, it's where I keep my tools. They got some wood for me down there. But then of course, what you don't see, or what you do see, they left me an outboard. That's a 25 horsepower outboard. I'm sure it doesn't work, whatever. I'll fix it up, we'll make it go. Now all of a sudden I'm out on the water, fantastic. And then the final bit, we've got this great carport here. 11 foot wide, seven foot tall. Can't quite fit the camper through it, but uh, the truck will fit nicely in here. And uh, Will, when we get some bikes, I'm gonna set them up on this wall, have a nice little bike shop set up going up here. It's gonna be real, real nice. Um, let's take you through the basement. It's a little dark, but you know, there's some fun stuff to show you down there. Grab my flashlight and we'll see what we can see. Um, listen, the thing about this is basically I've got these super sweet brand new washer dryer set up down here. Again, the power's out. It's not, you know, some weird horror show down here. It's just dark because there's no light. Um, there's a great little storage area down here. I'm not going to bother taking you through that because there's simply no light for it. Um, another super fun underneath the stairwell. We've got this great little Harry Potter experience down here. I don't know, maybe that's going to become a wine cellar. Who knows? Maybe it could be your guest room at some point if you really want the whole Harry Potter under the stairs experience. But the best part is then you walk down into the small finished area and look, that fireplace. Will you look at that fireplace? That fireplace has been saving my butt the last two days. It's nice and warm. I've got a good little uh, storage of, of firewood down in the covered garage area. And it keeps the whole house toasty. I'm super happy with it. Um, you know, you can see we got great southern exposure down here. So, I mean, it's a basement, but it doesn't, you know, it's not a basement-y basement. -y basement. Um, back here, I've got this great standing desk workstation going on. So, this is where I'm going to be uh, working from for most of my time down here. You can see I've also got some uh, little musical setup going on here, which is really fun. But, uh, yeah, no, this is where the dogwood work is going to happen. This is where we're going to stay nice and warm and toasty. Um, I'm super grateful for this uh, fireplace over here. And a great for, full hour for all of you. Um, thanks for coming on my little house tour. Come up and visit sometime. We'd love to have you. Bye.